I'm on a recipe road trip to check out all the great food on offer around Mildura in northwestern Victoria. This area not only produces magnificent citrus, but fantastic table grapes too. These days, there are tons of new varieties to try, from cotton candy to candy hearts. And this one here, well, it's called a blue sapphire. Let me show you something. That is about the most unusual grape I've seen in my life, but it's sweet, delicious, absolutely amazing. But where am I going to cook? Ha ha! Perfect. It's my instant kitchen. Simple, but this will work a treat. So what have I got in mind to cook? Well, lately I've been fascinated with all things buffalo wings. Your classic recipe, crispy chicken wings smothered in a delicious sauce. But what I'm thinking is, what if you could turn them inside out? And that would be fun. So we start off with our chicken wings and then we make the sauce with equal parts barbecue and maple and a little bit of hot sauce. Just stir that together. Then you're going to need one of these. It's a kitchen injector. You can buy one of these at Bunnings or most good kitchenware stores. Load up the sauce and then just inject some of that into the thickest part of each chicken wing. Once they are all injected, we need to coat them pretty much straight away into a flour mixture. That forms up a barrier on the outside to make sure that the sauce doesn't drip out. I actually use a bit of Cajun seasoning, a bit of salt and plain flour. Toss that all together in a Ziploc bag and then add the chicken as well. Real trick if you want a perfectly crunchy coating, let these sit for a few minutes. That way the flour really starts to stick on. But that's OK, because it'll give me time to start working on my sauce. And this is where the grapes come into their own. Start with an old-fashioned mix of onions, fennel, garlic and rosemary. Get those chopped nice and finely. We'll sweat those off in Australian extra virgin olive oil. Then, when they're becoming aromatic, chuck in some local red wine. By the time the red wine has cooked down to almost nothing, it smells fantastic. But what about those grapes? We still need to get them in there as well. Now, normally when you serve grapes at home, what do you do? You take them out of the fridge, put them on a plate, and everyone says, fantastic fruit. But as with any food, when you warm it up, just gently, you release more of its flavour. So we're going to take a mixture of them. So these green lewiskers, the blue sapphires, some of the crimson ones. Get them into the pan, and we let them warm through just until the skins start to split. These here, they're called Jack Salute. I think they're about the sweetest grape I've ever had. <laughs> Delicious. Mm. And to finish the sauce, just a little bit of vinegar and mustard. Then set this aside, because it's time to cook the chicken wings. Cooking your chicken wings is actually really easy. They just need about six to eight minutes in hot oil. Maybe fractionally longer, depending on your oil. But the idea is get them good and crunchy, plus firm to touch, then drain them really well and serve them on top of your grape sauce. I am loving this recipe. It's a deliciously different way to enjoy one of Australia's favourite fruits with that perfect balance of sweet, savoury and succulent. Chicken wings with grapes, you bet. Thank you.